Hey, welcome back to Blogs. Today we're going to take a look at Lisa Fox, Series 83. Come from the Money in the Bank briefcase. So I've shown her on the channel before in box, like with a bunch of other figures, like when I did like Where to Buy, but that was a while back. And places like Ross's and Marshall's don't really carry these anymore. Uh, at least where I'm at now. So the reason I want to unbox it is because I picked it up. And <laughs> so it's already open. So let's check it out. Alright, here we have Alicia Fox, Series 83, with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Always nice to get an accessory on the basics. So this one is Triple H, Kurt Angle, Ty Dillinger, Randy Orton, and then Alicia Fox. So Alicia Fox came into WWE, well she was no EVW, but she made her debut in 2008, I think in a, in a backstage segment it said, and then later on become a in-ring competitor. So let's put it up here. Okay, let's take a look at the action figure here. Looks pretty good. The face is a nice sculpt. The hair is uh, not attached. I mean, attached to the head, but like it's the one thing. Got a fox on the back. I like the blue color. The blue and yellow looks pretty good. Kind of superhero looking. So I guess she was a model before becoming a wrestler. I think said Johnny Laurinaitis found her in a fashion magazine. And I guess the rest is history as they say. Uh, she was also I guess, a pizza delivery girl before becoming a WWE wrestler. She is 5'9 and 120 pounds, at least during her in-ring days. Uh, last time I saw her, she looks the same. She almost always looks the same. So, <laughs> so that is good. Uh, I haven't seen like a lot of her matches. Towards the end, it kind of got her a little more in a comical kind of gimmick I didn't care for. But she's seemed pretty good in the ring. Of course, I think everyone in the WWE can make it. You're definitely going to be decent in the ring for the most part. Uh, some of her finishing moves were Watch Your Face, which is a scissor kick. Uh, Officer Nasty, I guess she had some kind of police gimmick going on. So a somersault leg drop. And then a Foxy Buster, a modified leg drop bulldog. So... See if I can find those and put a, a quick little gif up so we can see what they look like. Lots of signature moves. Uh, I do remember her using the Bridging Northern Lights Suplex a lot, and it looked um, pretty, really good. Uh, Northern Lights, if I remember correctly. So, but this action figure looks really good. Um, that does look like her. She's definitely on, on the thin side. Uh, Normal articulation, well, maybe, this elbow joint doesn't really work. <laughs> so the legs work, but yeah, okay, so these elbows are really stiff and I don't want to break them, so. Stand. I don't think she can hold this. I think her hands are clasped, <laughs> so she can't hold the money in the bank. So, but anyway, still cool to have that. And pan around a little bit. So it's Lisa Fox, Series 83. I would give this action figure a 9.5 out of 10. The detail is really good. You can tell there. So it looks just like Alicia Fox, I think. You definitely know who that is if you're a fan. Um, the only thing I'll take the half point off for is like the class pans. You can't hold the money in the bank briefcase and the elbow joints. That line may just be for look, but it, it appears to be a joint that doesn't, that doesn't work. So. Knee joints do work a little bit. That's a really good looking action figure. So it's a good pickup. 9.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.